Hey, Sneaky Lance back tonight, and we're going to have a look at Edubuntu. Yes, going to school with Linux. Now, Edubuntu is now an add-on from within Synaptic, Synaptic Package Manager. It used to be on a separate CD, but now you just go to Synaptic, and it's there, bish bosh, click install, and it changes the system for you. A bit more uh, youth-friendly, shall we say. But you can install this all separately anyway, you don't have to install Edubuntu for this to get all these settings and games and uh, educational stuff. So we go up to Applications, and we go to the Education section, which is what we really want to look at. Uh, G-Compress Education Suite. Now this one is for administrators, so that's to me and you, the teachers, or if you're teaching at home, mum and dad. And basically it's classes and users, you can put all the pupils in there, groups, what they're doing, then we go down a bit further, profiles of it, what the stuff you're doing. And then you've got boards and reports, etc. So how everybody's getting on. So, not too bad to start with. Jolly good. We'll click there eventually. There we go. It come up. It was thinking about it, but it's come up now. Oh, we got bits on the bottom there. Help and go away. We'll come out of that. And we'll go back to applications, back to education and we're up the educational suite. Now this is for children from two upwards. So it's suitable for quite a lot. So preschools, primary, middle school, maybe not so much secondary school, but helping to read, write, hand-eye coordination, etc, etc. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open a couple up just to show you what they're like. Because maybe you've got Ubuntu but didn't even know this existed. And you think, oh, I'll put that on for, for the kiddies. Now this first one is just puzzles really. That's basic six piece, and all you do, drag all your bits over, and make the picture. Now to me and you, this might be quite boring, but to somebody who's four years old, it's very very interesting. Trust me on that one. I had Edubuntu installed for a while on another machine, and it went down very 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 well. As you can see, I put that in the wrong place. That's better. Drag them over. Last bit, over he goes, boom. You get a nice smiling flower, you've got it right. So that's cool. Now you can go to the next one if you want to, and it'll keep going on, 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 on. But we'll go back to the home page of G-Compress. And we'll have a bit more look through for you. So there's number games, there's Tower of Noise. That's pretty popular in our local school anyway. You've got Sudoku, another popular one. Sliding puzzle game, drive the crane and copy the model. So I'll click on there and basically you do what it says. You drive the crane round and get it right just to copy the model. So that's cool. So we'll go back to the home section again. Here we go. I'll open another one up. So there's lots of sections here as well, which is quite good. Don't you think? Plenty there for children to look at. A lot of uh, schools around Europe do actually use this now, so well, it's free after all. They just pay for the support. Here's a spelling one. You just put in the letters, obviously this is the easy bit. If your children are older, you set it for an older age group. Easy peasy. Yeah, I'll show you, you can get it wrong. I won't do the I, I'll go down and put an L in. And we get an unhappy flower. Mm -mm -mm. Not good indeed. So That's not too bad. We'll click on Home again. There we go. And there's normally around about between 6 and 10 apps per section. So that's not too bad. Oh, we'll go back down to Education again. As you can see, plenty in that section. K percentage. A bit more for older children. I'll just do one for you to show you how it works. I'll click that section while I do. So they want to know 50% of blank equals 900. Now, me and you know what that is, but if you're seven or eight years old, you might have to think about it. So I'll put in the answer as 1800, because the answer. Click on Apply, and you get the bouncing ball there. And basically, that's how you do it. Now, you can change all the actions here, number of tasks per section, from one up to ten. And you can change the levels as well, from easy to medium to crazy. So I imagine that's pretty hard. We'll come out. We'll show you a couple more while we're here. Back over to education. There you go. Look, there's language training, 
word quizzes, tux paint, same as paint on the Microsoft stuff. <coughs> I won't say that again. Periodic tables, letter games, fractions, tests and exams. You can edit all them, that's for teachers again. Uh, there's K Hangman, another good one. It's fun and educational at the same time. So that's cool. Back over there again. We go back down. Now if we go to games, you'll see some extras on here. You've got Tux Math and Tux Type. Now you can add these from Synaptic anyway, but hey, if you're going to get the whole lot, just get the whole lot. Might as well, might we, really? On the internet, you've still got Firefox. You've got Gobby Collaborative Effort Editor. Editor. Couldn't say that one. You've got Scribus. Also, that comes pre packaged with Edubuntu. Now, Scribus is a desktop publishing program. So, if you are at school and you want to do a magazine and stuff like that, or at home even, this is the baby for you. I'll say again, you can install it separately. You don't have to have the suite. And there we go. She comes up. There we are. Easy peasy. Choose what sort of document you're going to do, how many pages, what size. Just a DTP program. Nice and easy to do. So that's lovely, don't you think? Super duper. We'll close him down. And down and down and down. What else we got to show you? I'm getting near the end now because it's getting a bit long. I've just basically done this to show you what is there for children really if you want them to learn as well as have fun. And then graphics get GIMP of course. Genuine you paint? Inkscape, open office drawing, a fractal generator, you get image scanner for scanning. If we go down to programming you've got an XML editor, even better. There are other add-ons you can do as well. Then Sound and Vision they give you Kino for video editing. And this is a really simple digital video editor, as you can see, easily laid out, really, really simple to use. You can use it to yourself if you want, not just your kids. Super. Now, Edubuntu, really nice. Download it and give it a go. If you don't like it, you can just take it off. Sneaky Linux out. Thank you very much.